On this episode of the Locked On NBA Big Board Podcast, I am live. You can probably hear the background, but I'm live at the NTX Combine. I have a sit-down interview with Pete Michael, the founder of the NTX Combine. Pete has a interesting story. He is a former NBA scout. He worked in the front office for the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Washington Wizards. Now he is an agent and he has a combine on top of having a great playing career in Europe where he won Euro League. He won Euro Leagues and a bunch of cups. Great guy. So stay tuned for my interview with Pete Michael live here at the NTX Combine in Duncanville, Texas. Big shout out to each and every person that has made the Locked On NBA Big Board Podcast your first listen of the day. And this episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code Locked On NBA for twenty dollars off your first purchase. That is the Game Time app. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, we're here just about an hour before tip off for the NTX Combine. It's the third annual. This is Pete Michael. All right, so before we get into the NTX Combine, you have experience as NBA scout. You work in two front offices, and we are weeks away from draft season. We are a couple weeks away from the lottery. At this time of year, what is it like working in the NBA front office? Well, right now, working in the NBA front office is mainly, you know, looking at the college guys, trying to figure out what other teams are doing as far as their cap space. Um, there's some teams that don't have a lot of cap space. There's guys that can trade up. There's assets that teams want, and they can possibly trade down. There's so much scenarios going on right now. So obviously the lottery ball has a lot to do with it, who gets drafted where. But once that comes out here this month of May, teams are going to be jockeying for position to get ready to either trade up or trade down. Or, you know, for example, the Clippers situation, they want to ask for Paul George for a draft pick and, you know, and, and um, other things like that. So. There's a lot of things going on right now. There's scouting everywhere. There's guys that are scouting, you know, my combine. The Chicago's coming next week. So, you know, right now everybody's just getting the measurements. They want to see how long these guys really are with shoes off. They want to make sure that the blood test checks out right. And then they're checking the intel right now from all the college coaches. How, how important is intel? Well, intel is everything. You look right now and you say, well, how is that guy in the NBA? And I'm not in the NBA as a player. Well, there's a reason why. A lot of times that guy has a squeaky clean image. Not saying that that image is true, but that's the image that's been portrayed, right? It checked out through his parents. It checked out through his college coaches. And it also checked out through what the NBA is, is more of a FBI type of organization where they investigate everything about you. If they're going to give you millions of dollars, they're going to invest everything about you. Who's your friends? They look at your social media. Uh, they got the robots on social media that follow you. It's a lot of things going on. But, you know, it's all good because they're investing in you. They're investing a million dollars in you, and they want to make sure that they got the right person because one player can mess up an entire locker room. I know that from experience of working in the front office. So um, that's the reason why there's so much investigation on players. So we'll get to your transition from the front office to agent to NTX Combine in a second. But what's... What's, what's a crazy intel story? You don't have to give the player, but what's a crazy intel story or, or an example of how someone's background kills their draft stock? Yeah, so I'll give you a great example. So, you know, there was a player when I was in the front office, um, I won't say his name, but um, he got caught in college with a ton of drugs. Mm -hmm. And um, here I am as an ex-player trying to defend the player saying everybody makes mistakes and this and that, but the NBA cares nothing about that, right? Mm -hmm. They don't give you second chances. Um, I was able to ask all the guys in the front office one year, I said, hey, have you guys ever been in trouble? You guys ever took a drink and start driving your car? Have you ever been pulled over by the cops? And every guy in that room said no. So for me, sometimes it's unrealistic to not give guys second chances. So. I understand as a young African-American, sometimes there's mistakes made when mm -hmm. you're young. Sometimes you're a product of your environment, right? Yep. So for me, I have the benefit of doubt for these guys, but in a, it's a cold game in the front office. They can care less. But you always have the teams, like the Knicks back 10 years ago, they would take several guys that had intel issues. They didn't care. But the guys that have intel issues, 
sooner or later they're going to show their true colors, right? Yep. And that's the issue with the front office. That's how you lose your job as a GM or assistant GM by taking risks on guys that you know have intel issues before they come in. Man, that's that's tough because you know, like if I were in the front office, because. I've never been in trouble. My mindset might be a little bit different than right. someone that has been a little bit of trouble that has had some bumps and bruises along the way. When you look at scouting and, and evaluating players, what's the first thing you pay attention to? Is it numbers? Is it size, positional size? What's the first thing you look at? Well, it's a few things I look at. I think number one, I look at the body type. I look at if that player is to get injured, how fast could he bounce back? There's different body types. There's a Dwight Howard body type, and then there's a KD body type, right? Those guys are like night and day, total opposite body type. I prefer the KD body type, the long, slim, the guy that has, you know, the less, you know, the less bulk in their body because those are guys that always bounce back from injuries fast, right? So this is the way my mindset works when I scout. And then so I also look at, how did he play in the fourth quarter? So I go back into the notes, whether that's college, whether that's pro, and I wonder how he plays. Like, why does that team trust him? Mm -hmm. You know, like, if the guy plays eight minutes per, per game in the fourth quarter, that means that team trusts him. Now I go look back at that team. Say it's the Miami Heat, for example, and we look in the trade. I go look at that team and I say, well, Pat Riley, Eric's supposed to trust him. We can trust him because mm -hmm. we know that team really held their guys accountable, right? Mm -hmm. So I look at that and I say, okay, well, he plays eight minutes a quarter in the fourth quarter. This is the type of guy that we need to close out games. So I look at a lot of things, the body type, I look at how he plays in the fourth quarter, and I also look at the underrated reserve guys that play in the fourth quarter. You know, there was, when I was in the front office with the Timberwolves, you know, um, there was a couple guys that were really good that played six plus minutes in the fourth quarter and there was reserves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I started doing a chart showing the whole NBA, the reserves that play more than five minutes and understanding why does that team trust the player. First of all, they might trust him because he can shoot. Second, they might trust him because he's a great defender. And mm -hmm. third, they might trust him because he just plays winning basketball, both sides of the ball. So that was my goal is to always find out why this team trusts this player and what organization it is. All right, so let, let's transition to to where we are today. We're here at the NTX Combine. I think your story is unique because you've seen it at so many different levels. You had a dominant career and overseas as far as, as, as winning. You won like, was it like 87 games in a row or something like that? First three years of college. First yep. three years of college. You were drafted and you were the 58th pick. Tell me how being the 58th pick helps you relate to the guys here at this NTX Combine that are best case scenario hoping to be last pick in the draft or even like two-way or exhibit 10. Tell me how your experience helps you relate better than most people. Well, when I got drafted, my mom told me sometimes last will be first in life, right? Mm -hmm. And I've always kept that mentality 23 years ago. She told me that. She said, you know what? Sometimes the last is first. And I didn't get it at the time because I was 22 years old. But I've always kept that in my mind and I really understand what she means by that. Just being drafted last, which there were only 58 picks in the draft back when I was drafted in 2000, it really struck a core in me. Um, I was not happy when I got drafted. I actually threw something at the TV and I was not happy about it. Um, I was projected a first round draft pick and it just made me want to have my, you know, have people doubt me. I want to prove them wrong, right? Mm -hmm. So it motivated me to get in the gym. It motivated me to be better. And when I got my opportunity, I took full advantage of it, whether that was summer league, whether it was preseason, whatever it was, every day in practice, I bust my ass. You know, fortunately, I had Tom Thibodeau as my assistant coach my first year, and he was more like the assistant coach player development guy. He would get in the weight room with me. Like, you know, the guy really helped develop my game, you know? And maybe he was just doing his job, but I built a relationship with him during that time, which I still have to this day. So I understand what these players are going through, but now you have so many opportunities. You got 60 draft picks. You have 90, 58 this year, uh, 58 this year, <laughs> but normally you got 60. Yeah. And then you have the 90, um, I'm sorry, the 90 um, two way spots, which are just, it changes the game dramatically. You have the G League, which guys are getting called up. 
So now you have all these avenues that I didn't have when I came out. Mm -hmm. When I came out, 58 picks, it was either you're good enough to play in the NBA or you go overseas. There was no such thing as giving a guy a four-year deal as a second-round draft pick yep. like they do now. Mm -hmm. Guys are guaranteed second-round draft picks now. So this is the beauty of the NBA. You, you've seen how it's evolved. You've seen the money that's thrown in the NBA. It's a player's league. The players have the advantage in the collecting bargain agreement. And it's, it's such a great league that we're able to uh, experience that, you know, I always say there's four corners of basketball. You know, it's the player side, it's the agent side, it's the front office side, and uh, the scouting side. I've done three to four, right? So I've, I see myself as a lifer in this game of basketball. Buying tickets to your favorite event shouldn't be stressful. Game time is the fast and the easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater near you. With killer deals on last minute tickets and their best price guarantee, you can stop stressing over tickets and get started and hyped for the fun that you will have. Game time has flash deals and last minute tickets. Easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. Images of your seats, they have the lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection, and job loss protection. So if you lose your job, Game time will guarantee you your tickets. So again, you can get exclusive flash deal tickets on football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. And the game time guarantee means that you always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. Download the game time app, create an account, use the code LOCKEDONNBA for $20 off of your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account and redeem code. Use the redeem code locked on for twenty dollars off of your first purchase. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. So, what made you transition from front office to agent to NTX Combine? Well, um, I was with the Washington Wizards at the time, and um, it was one of those situations where I was looking for, you know, a multi-year deal with the Wizards. And um, I was not able to, you know, facilitate that. But I've always wanted to be an agent. Um, as a player back in FC Barcelona, I sit in a negotiation room with the president, with the GM, all the people that make decisions and pay people. And it really gave me a different perspective on how they really look at you. As a player, we go to practice and we play games. But as a negotiator, it's not that simple. You got to have patience, right? Yep. You can have, I can have a bad game today. And guess what? I go to practice tomorrow, redeem myself in the following game. I have 20 points and I play well and I feel good about myself. Where in business, you got to have the patience, right? They told me, if we, if we give you this money, you're taking money from another player. And I'll never forget that. That was the day that changed my mentality forever because it was like they didn't value me. They didn't want to give me the money that I was asking for. Mm -hmm. And they said they knew my market very well. So my goal was to find out what my market really was present them with a contract they, that they have to match. And that's what they did. So that's kind of where the agency part came in. Ever since 2008, I've been in the agent business since 2008. It wasn't official until I actually had to retire because in the NBA, you can't do both. You have to do one or the other. So that was the reason why I love the Wizards. Um, Johnny Rogers, Tommy Shepard, those guys gave me a great opportunity to come in. To be honest, what you're scouting is probably for me the best job in the world. You have the freedom, you make your own schedule, you go where you want to go, you get the intel, and your opinion matters. Everybody has an opinion in the front office, everybody's opinion matters. If you're the lowest paid player or the highest paid, I'm sorry, the lowest paid scout or the highest paid scout, it doesn't matter. Everybody's opinion matters, that's why I love it. All right, let's talk about the NTX Combine. This is year number three, mm -hmm. two in, in, in Dallas. The first one was in Myrtle Beach. Let's, let's talk about some of the success stories from the NTX slash Myrtle Beach Combine. Yeah, well, we've had a, a lot of guys, you know, Jake Jeffries, you know, Daquan Plowden. Both of these guys last year got Exhibit 10 contracts. And what Exhibit 10 contract, for people that don't know, you know, essentially a team can pay you up to 50000 to come to training camp. And they give you a real opportunity to make the team. Now, if you don't make the team because the numbers are really high, 
Sometimes there's 20 players in, in training camp, so you can't make the team. They send you to the G League team because they value you. Now in the G League, you're able to make that money as well as exhibit 10 money. So a lot of guys can make between 90 and 100,000 a year as a rookie, which is great money. And then they also give them a chance for the team to evaluate them during the full season. So I think those guys are really success stories. Royce Ham Jr. is another player. He's a really big time success story. Played at a mid-major in UNLV, averaged eight points, eight rebounds. And now he's over in Russia making seven figures. I mean, these are really big success stories. We had num numerous guys play in the NBA Summer League. We had numerous guys um, get the opportunity that they deserve. And I'm very proud that me and my partner, Ernie Cambo, my business partner, that we're able to give these guys the opportunity. I'm a little biased. I hope that this year is the best year. I hope there's yeah. three Exhibit Tens. That's because I was the director of scouting and I played a role in picking the players and talking to all the agents, which is, <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Agents have different personalities. Yeah. And they're selling their guys and, and you know they're showing me numbers. The numbers don't stand out on paper, but then you have to watch the film. Yeah. So it's kind of like I was able to do scouting in it. Mm -hmm. and like put a group together which was was fun to me yeah so what separates the ntx combine from other combines out there well i think it's it's unique because we're more than just basketball we're educational as well mm -hmm. so we bring in guest speakers in guys that's been on the grind they've been in europe they've been in the nba they've been in the front office they're financial advisors everything we can give these guys to help them grow and like I preach, every time I talk to a player, I speak about long-term goals and short-term goals. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your long-term goals set to the sky, you can fail, right. right? Even if your family don't believe in you, you gotta believe in yourself. And if you never reach that long-term goal, you accomplish so much because you set your goals so high in the short term. So this is what I preach. And what really separates us is the TV really helps us because 75 million views last year, and then the first year we had Twitch TV, which got 400,000 views. We continue to grow. Um, we have over half of the NBA teams here, which are about 17 teams, which is great for us and is great for the players. They get a real opportunity to be seen. There's a guy from HBCU that's here that would never get this opportunity. Mm -hmm. But now that he's in invite to NTX, he has the opportunity. And we're proud to do it. Um, this is like really one of the better days that I can ever have. Mm -hmm. is to start this combine and it's so much work as you know put into this to get this set and I couldn't do it without the supporting staff so I'm very proud to be able to put this NTS combine on and it's just going to grow and get bigger and bigger. Yep so we are about about half an hour between uh, before it starts what is on the agenda today for the guys that are participating? Well um, this event is NBA sanctioned so the NBA scouts can be here and what that does for us it allows the players to be seen only in a workout version so we can't do the five on five like they were do at other combines we can only the, the guys can only be seen basically during the workout so there will be six players uh, for one hour and a half today working out in front of scouts and another six will come in the max that the scouts can see per day are 12 players so we do 12 today 12 tomorrow and then the last day we'll finish with six players in one session. So that's kind of what's on the agenda. We have a great coaching staff, a lot of ex-NBA players, a lot of ex-NBA coaches, and they're really gonna come in and they're gonna help these guys look their best. All right, so what kind of drills are they going to do in front of the scouts? Well, you do every drill that NBA do, does on a daily basis. You know, the 100 drill, which is the shot drill, um, the pick and roll, the pick and pop, the defensive drills. But I did a poll last year for the scouts to see what they wanted to see and they really want to see more competitive. So we implemented the one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three. And then also we're doing a four-on-four -four with a coach as a pass or a screener. So this is going to be the first year for the four-on-four -four full court, and it gives the scouts a chance to see guys move up and down. And the fluidity of their body. Everybody talks about hips in the scouting world. They want to see the hips open. They want to see if the guy's stiff. They want to see how explosive he is, how quick he can go baseline to baseline. So I think this is really a game changer to be able to do the four on four for the first time. And I think the scouts are really gonna love it. Will they do like the vertical leap test and? Yeah, so you got the testing as well. We got the jump guys here. 
Um, they're pretty popular on Instagram. They, they're at the dunk contest. I, yeah. I've seen them the first yeah. two years. Then I'm, I'm in Salt Lake and I'm watching the dunk contest. I forgot who it was that they were on the court with, but they were All-Star Weekend. So yeah, big names there. Yeah, these guys are pretty popular. So they come in, they do all the testing, the vertical leap. They put the guys on a Vertimax. They do the um, timing test as far as baseline to baseline. So. You know, it's one of those situations where everything that Chicago pre-draft does, we do it here as well. Yep. Vertical leap, everything. All right, I have exciting news for you. There is a new $1 million, yes, you heard that right, $1 million Superflex promotion every day of the NBA playoffs. One prize picks user will get a chance at becoming a millionaire. One entry placed at 8 a.m. Eastern time will be randomly selected each day. Whoever placed that entry will be given a six pick flex with the following payouts. Six correct picks, $1 million. Five correct picks, 80,000. Four correct picks, 16,000. You must opt in at the link to be eligible for the million dollar entry. And you're probably asking, what is prize picks? Prize picks is daily fantasy made easy. You can win up to two to you can win up to 25 times your money, and all you have to do is pick two to six players, and you will decide if they will score more or less than their prize picks projection. There's no competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. And Prize Picks offers projections on any sport that you watch: NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, hockey, golf, boxing, disco golf, Euroleague basketball, and more. And the entries can be made in 60 seconds. Is that easy? It is safe and fast withdrawals, and it is currently operational in 30 states and Canada. So download the Price Pick app, go to PricePicks.com, and play daily fantasy sports. If you're a first-time user, you can receive a $100. You can receive a 100% instant match up to $100, only if you use the promo code Locked On. If you deposit $100, Price Picks will give you $100. Deposit 50, Price Picks will give you 50. So do not forget to use the promo code locked on at sign up for instant deposit match up to one hundred dollars. So if you're if, let, let's transition from you're no longer over NTX Combine, you're not Pete Michael the agent, you're Pete Michael the scout. <laughs> what are you looking for today? I'm looking I, I, I like the Miami Heat um, scouting department. I like the map scouting department as well because they don't care if a guy played HBCU. They don't care if a guy played a Division II or a Division III. If they see a guy that they feel that fits in their system mm -hmm. and plays the way Eric Spolcher wants to play and the organization value that type of player, they'll give you a real opportunity. And that's what I love about the front office. Like you have guys that say, you know what? He's a diamond in a rough. Yep. Every scout that comes here today is looking for a diamond in a rough. They want to say they discovered that guy. Like Anthony Cupo. There's a scout that's told that's telling everybody, hey, listen, I discovered Anthony Cooper. Yeah. And now all of a sudden he's looked at as one of the better scouts in the history of basketball. So every scout wants to come here and discover the next James Harden. They want to discover the next Anthony Cooper. I mean, is that Aiden. realistic? Or are we looking for the next Max Struess or Gabe Vincent? Well, I think anything possible nowadays mm -hmm. because you just never know. I mean, Giannis Anthony Cooper is playing in Division II in Greece. Which is like, <laughs> which is one of the guys lowest smoking division. cigarettes. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you go at halftime and, and um, the guy's got the steam in the shower, smoking a cigarette, trying to get the smoke from, from going into the locker room. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it all. Bathroom stalls, I mean, you know, drinking beers, you know, at halftime. There's a lot of things like that. So what I'm saying is, you know, there's guys to be discovered. Now, yeah. will that be discovered here? That's the beauty about basketball. You just don't know. And that's why these guys are here. They're here for a reason. Yep. And um, we're happy to welcome them. And I think NTX is going to be something that's going to be worldwide. Uh, the play for me is to have this on ESPN CBS yearly. I want this to be a household name. And, um, you know, my great support staff are really helping me build this thing up. All right, lastly, let's talk about the, the coaching staff. Yeah. Mike James, who, uh, I had worked for the Texas Legends. I was gone when he came, but he was 39 and he was still, <laughs> still balling. giving buckets. And looking at him now, he still like looks like he can come out and, and uh, you know, give guys some work and some two on two or some three on threes. Yeah. Sean Respert, 
Uh, I remember him from Michigan State. I'm a Nebraska guy, and I was just talking to him. He gave us my Huskers. Torch, 37 huh? one <laughs> game. Yeah. Mo Evans. Yep. Uh, played what nine nine years nine in the years NBA. In NBA. Champion. NBA champion. NBA champion. Uh, so. Is it like strategic to have former NBA players here? Well, that's my goal because it's not only basketball, it's educational, right? Yep. So if I bring a guy like Sean Rusper who played in the Big Ten, um, who played four years in the NBA, and he coached for 15 years in the NBA as well, what that type of experience you can't get anywhere else. Yep. And if I bring a group of guys, eight to ten players like that, ex-players like that, that's now coaches, now we have something special. And the coaching is what really. I have to give Bill Baino, Jim Boylan, I got to give those guys a lot of credit. Yeah. I mean, those are two NBA coaches that really helped me get this NTS started. And um, it kind of set the tone for the coaches that we have now. And I think this is going to be Melvin Hunt. Melvin Hunt coached me in Houston Rockets in 2002. And now he's a coach at my NTS combine. Mm -hmm. So that's what I always preach to players. Intel, treating people the right way. I've been knowing this guy for, for 20, 21 years now, and we still have a relationship because I was a player with him. He was my player development coach. So, you know, we want to have no, no bridges burned right. between players. We want to make sure that everybody's given a fair chance, and I think me bringing these coaches is give these guys the best chance to be successful. All right, last question. I guess I said the last one was the last question. For the listeners out there, where can they keep up with the NTX Combine and follow the games and find out who's here? Where can all that information be? Yeah, so you can find all the information on NTX Combine on YouTube. You can go to ntxcombine.com, Instagram, NTX Combine, Twitter, NTX Combine. You'll have daily stats there. you have updates to the players. I mean, this event is a, a great event that's going to be worldwide. And we really want fans to start coming out to Dallas every year at this time of year to really see the show, because it is a beautiful show that we're putting on. All right, that wraps it up. Pete Michael, NTX Combine, we're out. We out.